Hello you lot, if you're having a lovely day, welcome back to today's video. On the channel you may be thinking, why is it full screen intro? Well basically lads, today we are here with some FIFA 22 news you must know before purchasing the game. And I say that because FIFA 23 is set to become free to play in a year's time, not that we need to worry about that yet. But yes, I've got a bit of paper, uh, you've probably heard half of these before, disclaimer, alright. But I mean also subscribe because soon we're going to have some beta news as well, I've just, at this stage, I've kind of got sick of FIFA 21. It's just kind of July, so. And moving on from that ladies and gentlemen, we are starting off with foot champions news coming to fifa 22 foot champions games are set to be set down to 20 games per weekend league which could be considered good or bad i mean it's gonna make it more snappier more competitive more raging as well like you're gonna have less games but then i suppose kind of saving our time on the weekend as well if you if you were to play them all i mean it's still like six seven hours even with 20 games but hey like it's a few hours simplified down 10 games if you as a neutral are thinking there nah, mate it's only 10 games like all right honestly weekend league is a pain in the ass so yeah first things first um that's set to go down to 20 games also the better the rank the better the card variant right a quick little example i will make a graphic for like in advance so let's just say we've got him from Jesse Lingard, red card. He is in the team of the week and um, I get silver one, you get gold and another Donny gets elite. If we were to all get Lingard in our red picks, the elite person will come out on top because that's the better rating. It'll probably be like a couple ratings above. So let's just say like the 86 rated elite. For gold, it'll be like 84 and then for the silver one, it, it, you know, it'll be like 82. So yeah, if you have played FIFA Mobile like in the past, um, they've kind of like worked and experimented alongside this kind of dynamic card variant, I guess. So yeah, a lot of stuff which is getting revamped has been seen in FIFA Mobile and they are checking it onto the console version. So yeah, it kind of makes more sense as well. Like you're rewarding the better player, I guess. Again, it's going to make it more competitive, but hey, like it's fair because at the end of the day, if someone gets elite, they are the better like FIFA player. You like, you know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, and also monthly rewards are coming back as well. So yeah, I mean, they've worked a lot better, I guess. But yeah, we should be getting like weeklies and monthlies as well. I, I like, I guess with the card card variant thing it'll kind of be like that with player picks and then at the end of the month we'll get like the big pack where in elite like in fifa 18 you used to get like uh like icons and stuff so yeah it's kind of cool like it just makes it kind of more hype and brings more players to the game i guess also the qualification for the weekend league will be very different you will only have five games to get three wins and that process can only be done three times so yeah it's kind of like fifa was it fifa 17 when we used to like have to qualify i think 18 as well sorry um, i remember like playing tournaments and stuff yeah basically just kind of like a little mini b tech tournament you can only try three times in the week and that's how you're gonna play part of your qualification you may still need the points i'm not too sure about that part also division rivals are seasonal apparently that game mode and squad battles is getting completely revamped so yeah different packs different rewards i would expect division rivals would have more of like a meaning to actually like play i guess you'll probably need points from playing that i guess they're just trying to get more players to actually touch rivals because at the moment literally no one plays it like i'm not even joking mate i literally play like two games a week just to get like some rare electrums so yeah everything should be getting revamped the normal team and also i'll put another statement uh, apparently this is the biggest revamp since FIFA 17 which we will uh, be the judges of that and also certain division rival like divisions will be used for like esports which I, I mean I don't worry about that stuff just ruins the game right anyway moving on to career mode now basically it's just customizable stuff really apparently we are like set to see something game changing and not online career mode unfortunately although that would be so sick so basically we can now create clubs we can like update kits every season we can also custom create uh, like logos and stuff well badges is, I mean, Jesus Christ, man. I mean, you can add tattoos to your pro. Again, they've just kind of utilized this next gen like possibility of just updating so much stuff. It's very sick. I just don't play career mode too much. Like, I remember when I used to sweat like FIFA 12 career mode and I used to get to like year 2030 and I still have the same kit. And I'll be like, mate, like, wh what is this? One quick little thing as well, by the way, I will put like in the middle of all of this. Um, the next gen variant of FIFA 22 is going to be like completely different like he's gonna have a different market a different gameplay style the xbox one like i've got now is now considered like old gen so yeah i mean if you play fifa loads um and they're not on like the new one because don't worry i have to join you as well yeah basically unless you buy the ultimate edition you will not get a download for the next gen version of a download if that makes sense anyway so yeah i mean in other words um uh, gave us all your money it is what it is you know i thought it was a little bit naughty of people not to get the next gen 
version of a download on just a normal edition. But it's just money grabbing, you know. Um, moving on. Next thing on the list, ladies and gentlemen, is pro clubs. We can now use females and males in the same game, I guess. So yeah, fun. Also, the customization is uh, very boosted as well. So obviously, with career mode and pro clubs, we're going to kind of see like the same customization revamp with like stadiums, badges, kits. I guess they've originally made that in pro clubs and they're moving over to career mode. But yeah, I mean, it's sick overall for pro club players. I personally only play pro clubs really at the end of the FIFA, which is kind of like July, August time. But yeah, there's also a new growth system for a pro player as well. So yeah, it, again, we'll probably see this on career mode. These two game modes are literally going to be very similar. And also the social tab as well to like invite your friends to the clubs is much more boost. So yeah, literally everything's just revamped in these game modes, which is good because we've been waiting for this for like years. Like everything you could have imagined is supposedly going to be like boosted and improved. I mean, again, we'll be the judges of that. But it's just exciting to know that they're actually focusing on other game modes. But yeah, that will be the end of today's video. Um, That's all I've got so far anyway. Like we are not even in August yet, so there will be a lot more news. Also, we've got the beta coming up as well. So yeah, subscribe because we are going to keep on top of that. I'll put it make a video this weekend to be fair about the beta because we're set to get some news today but i'm recording at 12 o'clock which is before anything's been released on twitter uh, i will leave all the credit to the twitter handles in the description go check them out very like uh, very reliable sources um i would look at the trailer but it's just probably gonna give me a headache the first minute in because it's just the same thing every year just twisting twisting oh mbappe's doing a roulette to get his payout like literally mate the trailer is the same thing so yeah i mean anything from ea i will not read into unless it's very major because ea just chat out their asses like literally anyway i will leave you to it thank you very much for watching i will see you with some beta news very soon fifa 21 videos probably will still be out as well i just kind of lost interest in the game but yeah thank you a lot for still sticking around uh, during this dead time off fifa i will see you in the new video and ladies and gentlemen stay safe in a bit the things work